Shalom family. I've touched on this many times. I'm going to touch on it many more times on this channel and in this ministry to everyone I meet and bump into because it's something that needs to be said and stood up for and it's going to be repeated consistently. And that is that Israel plays an important role in prophetic events and God's eternal promises in these end times. And that is why the devil hates them with a passion and has been working hard to wipe them out because then he can prove God a liar and show that his covenants are not kept. Satan has been viciously opposing this tiny nation because he understands that its people play a pivotal role in the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. Scripture says the Lord returns to Jerusalem. After the surviving remnant of the Jewish people recognize the one that they pierced as their true Moshiach, Messiah, Zechariah 12 verse 10 to 13. The devil's vain attempt to stop these things from happening also lies at the root of the murderous hatred that he's inspired against them throughout the entire world. And we see that stronger now than ever before. It is a prophetic sign. You'll be hated by all for my name's sake. Just by association with Messiah, they are hated even more by the devil. The same demonic forces that inspired Adolf Hitler to eliminate the Jews remain active today, perhaps even more so than what it was back then. That was almost like a test run to get rid of the Jews. And there's multiple occasions through history where the enemy has used different situations to try and wipe them out, to blot their name out from being a nation or a people group so that he can make God a liar. The entire Bible testifies that God will bring the Jewish people back into their land from the ends of the earth. The diaspora will end and they will be a nation again. May 1948, this prophetic event happened and the end times clock started spinning with Israel being a nation. Scripture records Israel inherited from Father Abraham God's gift of the land as an eternal covenant. Genesis 15 verse 17 to 21 and 17 verse 7 to 8. Exodus 6 verse 5 to 8 and 32 verse 13. And there's many other places talking about the land belonging to the Jews as a gift from God eternally. All of scripture bears witness to the common human failures of the Jewish people. We see it. There's lots of examples. But Satan takes it a step further. He stirs up the world he controls in unending false accusations out of proportion of Israel's faults. Israel's efforts, for example, to spare the Palestinian civilian, civilians surpass any other army in the world. Prior to this war, they even welcomed Gazans and even Hamas leaders and their families for free, urgent medical treatment. Does anyone talk about that? No. In the current war, Israel is unfairly blamed for every death in Gaza, where the combatants, human shields, Hamas, victims of Gaza terror rockets, or even for simply retaliating to the sickening attacks that they've experienced. Jesus, our Messiah, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, part of Israel, will return to the Mount of Olives at the end of the tribulation in Israel, overlooking Jerusalem in Israel, belonging to the Jews, given to them by God, ultimately belonging to God. His feet will touch down there. The valleys will split and he will enter. God is returning to Israel. So the devil will rage and work and plan to blot them out, to end them as a nation, to bring it to cease and he shall not succeed. He will try and wipe out every single Jew and he shall not succeed because God keeps his promises and his covenants and God watches over Israel. He doesn't slumber nor sleep like all the false gods do. 
So bear that in mind. When the world is screaming, when those who are not knowledgeable in the word of God and prophecy are screaming and shouting and saying Israel's wrong or it's not the real Jews or it's this or it's that. Listen to the word of God, understand how they fit into prophetic events and see everything unfolding and pray for Israel. Pray for the Jews. What's lying ahead for most of them is something we would not wish on our worst enemies. God bless. Keep looking up. And Am Yisrael Chai. The nation of Israel lives.